Hello and welcome again to another episode with me, Loki the Ocrap. Um covering the Facebook Community Cup. And I'm here for game two between Lieutenant Jay Howard and General Omar. It is the battle of the military men. And let's you may remember that General Omar managed to take the last game by coming back from a really, really good uh, tower rush by uh, Lieutenant Jay, Jay Howard. General Omar was Goffs, and Lieutenant J. Howard was Cutons. And in this game, we have General Omar in red as the Goths again, versus Lieutenant J. Howard in blue as the Spanish this time. So they're both fairly quick civs. Well, I say fairly quick civs, what I mean is they want to be fairly quick. They want to be in Castle Age as, as soon as possible. So the Spanish can make their Conquistadors, which are one of the strongest units in the game. And so that the goth player can just spam Huskars uh, come late Castle Age and into post Imp. So uh, if you want to see the, the Civ rundown for goths, you can watch any number of my other videos uh, that contain goths. Uh, but I'm not going to do them this time, just as, because you, know, you get kind of bored of saying the same stuff over and over again. So Spanish, let's have a quick look. Gunpowder among civilization. Builders work 30% faster, that's pretty cool. Blacksmith upgrades don't cost gold, which is great. Uh, cannon galleons benefit from ballistics, not really going to matter too much on this map, it's Arabia. Um, Gunpowder units fire 15% faster, really good. Conquistador, mounted hankaneer, and missionary. You don't see much missionary play. Wow, that sounded filthy, I apologise. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't see missionaries used very often. Um, Conquistadors, on the other hand, really good unit to stack up. Unique techs are Inquisition, monks convert faster, and Supremacy, villagers stronger in combat. Trade units generate plus 25% gold for the team bonus. And you know what, I'm just going to quickly run through goths because they're there. Infantry civilization, infantry cost minus 20% in dark, minus 25% feudal, minus 30 in castle, minus 35 in imperial. Infantry attack plus 1 versus Buildings per age. Something from feudal age. Villagers plus 5 attack versus wild boar. Wonders carry plus 15 meat. Bloom spree. Uh, 10 pop extra in imperial age. That will help with the spam. Anarchy and perfusion are your unique techs. And skull is your unique unit. Barracks work 20% faster. And as stated in previous games, they get a lot of buffs to their bar barracks. You add in uh, perfusion, they work 100% faster. So there's a little bit of a little bit of a scrap going on over here by the scouts. But we've got the better of the engagement as the Spanish. People are getting housed left, right, and centre here. I think it's Howard that got housed that time. Maybe maybe not so much for for uh, Red. He's got a quick wall up anyway. Is this Green Arabia? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Omar again with his. Outside ball loves to drop an outside ball, whereas Howard generally drops it right where you need to drop it, which is under the TC. Didn't matter too much last time from Red, although he was slow off, slow off the blocks. <laughs> that was that was an incredible ball. <laughs> it was like the Benny Hill, like the Benny Hill, madness, absolute madness, and it's miles away. But hey, he, he doesn't need perfect balls. He wins games without perfect ball laws. Perfect ball laws are for nerds. You heard it at first. It's from the general. You can't lie. Blue. Blue was quite high in score there against him, but then he researched feudal. Kind of stilts it a little bit. Red's going to be in feudal first. No stone, no stone there for for um, blue. So it doesn't look like he's going to do a tower rush this time. Building round, oh, round his uh, resources. That's that's a good idea. Slowly building up. Oh, it looks like he's he's going to, he's going to stone actually. Not not as heavy as he did previously. Red, no sight of stone yet. Market going down. He's going to build a blacksmith. Blacksmith's going down. It looks like he's going fast castle. Both players are probably going to go fast castle. 
market and blacksmith. They're going for the naked fast castle. That means basically neither of them are going to produce units. They're going to build like two villages each in the feudal age and then uh, go up. Red is lightning. He's gone up in lightning fashion. He's looking to release that goths. Goth or score spam. Only just getting his feudal age uh, ecotex with. Um, what's the first one for Lumbergap? Lumbergap. Double bitted axe? Bitted axe? Can't remember. He's, he just researched that anyway. That's going to bug me now. I need to know. I need to know. So, I'm very sorry. It's very sorry to the viewer. Indulge me for a second there. I just need to know. Double bitted axe, yeah. Okay. You'd think I should know this after playing for many hours on this game. Let's see what Red's going to do with his castle age. He's going to get his second TC down next to his stone and next to his wood. That wood's going to be used to produce farms. And that stone's going to be used to produce castles. And also that wood's going to be used to produce more and more barracks. Gun for spears. And militia. Interesting. Don't, not sure why you build militia at this point in the game anyway. One of each. He's built some spears. I know why you build spears because Spanish and uh, their castle age, they can produce knights effectively and then into conks. What Blue really needs to do is. I oh, see what he's doing there. I see what he's doing there, but that's ultimately going to take away from the time that you're going to have to build a castle. You've got a market, granted. Let's have a look at your resources. A thousand food. He could, could go fast imp. If you really wanted to, you could go fast imp. Is he going to go to fast imp though? Surely not. Is he? Is he? He's waiting for 50 gold. Maybe he's not. He's producing villages, but he's keeping his food above. Oh no, he kept his food above a thousand. Like he was going to go f imp. He's not. He's. He's got. He's got. He's got the resources. Why isn't he going up to him? Go up to him. May as well. You're not really being hassled. That's a scout. Is he going to overreact and build tons of military units? No. He's interesting. Very interesting. Could have gone up there. Bear fight. Bear losers. Decided not to go up. He's getting some upgrades, but he's not got any. No, no, that's red. Red's getting upgrades. Turn his spears into pikes. Blue no longer able to just go up into Imperial now. You may regret that. If you have the resources, you're better off using them. They're no good in the bank. Don't take that as life advice. Red, obviously, a far cry from going up to feudal. Neither of them really building up much of an army. We've got we've got a few archers coming in from uh, Spaniards, and um, a few spearmen from Red, but nothing offensive just yet. Interesting thing with this archer archer thing is is re researching infantry tech as well as the archer tech from the same barracks, and he's building archers. He's not built any infantry. He's not built a castle. Whereas Red is not doing anything. I think he's gone to make a cup of tea. He's not doing anything at the moment. Oh, there we go. Making a few more bills. It's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. But you'd have thought Blue would have put down a castle by now. You need really need to start building them conks because as soon as the skulls get to that critical mass, that that area where they can just absolutely explode and there's not really much you can do about it that's coming that's coming quickly as well he's throwing tons of gold just needs to pull that that food up and he get into imp get all his upgrades he's starting to get his infantry upgrades now his armor his attack blue looks like he's getting monk decks
blue still floating tons of resources you need to use those resources you got 22 on stone do something with it build a castle don't wait just don't don't wait to be attacked there's no point waiting to be attacked keep the enemy on the defensive if you're on the defensive that means if if your enemy's on the defensive that means you've got plenty of time and space and all the resources you want to exploit at home without getting bothered here comes blue now blue's dropping a castle over way over in the corner of the map that would have been much more useful here or just anywhere forward or even at home no home really i bet you haven't built one at home yeah yeah town centers are really spaced out which means that it's very hard to cover them with just one castle. I'd have put the, I'd have put the castle like here, probably. The so archers with the skulls. Those few skulls will absolutely ravage those those archers. That mass of archers is dying quicker than you, you can say blink. Okay, not much quicker, not much slower, but that was yeah. And blues in the face of that is creating more archers. It needs to be creating conquistadors. It's the only thing that Scorpion's onagers will deliver him from this. But I think Blue may capitulate to this. He'll see this, realise that his archers aren't doing anything to them. I'm probably going to call the Jeej. His villagers get murdered there. Red should be producing more now. Instead of going to Imperial Age, he knows that he's on the front foot. The front foot. <laughs> low elo isn't what it used to be that's brilliant and it's GG as predicted I'm a noob but how many times have I told people now to not let goths get into the castle age with any kind of uh, stable economy because they will just steamroll you afterwards unless you're prepared with good siege or good champs or good um, nightline you will get absolutely trounced. You need to have a good economy. If you're going to meet them head to head in Imperial or Castle Age, you really, really need to have a good economy. Know, know your counts as well, and also be decent at micro. Because even a, a band like that, if you're an archer civilization and you've gone mostly archers, a band of Huskars, 21 strong, will cause you problems. Will cause you massive problems. But yeah, well done, well done to both players. It's nice to see uh, the multiple uh, production units, uh, production uh, buildings. Unfortunately, they were producing the wrong unit there for blue. Decent economy from both players. They just could do with really using some some of these resources here. You had 1,600 gold. That might have been enough to put. Omar off for another 10-15 minutes, just enough for you to get that counter in for the uh, Huskars. Then you look at um, Omar's economy, he's floating thousands of resources here. Could have put some siege in with his, uh, with his Huskars. Could have built a few more castles. Could have even built a few archers if you wanted to. Ultimately didn't need to though. Economy strong, three town centers close together a uh, castle effectively helping defend this gold all this farmland here as well just a uh, really good tight play there by uh, General Omar let's go through the statistics quickly it's 491 military to 117 uh, that's in fa red's favor economy goes to red technology goes to red society is tied at 130 so the same amount of castles um, Total score goes to red by a, less than 2,000. It's like 1,400, 1,500. Units killed 29 to units lost, for, uh, which is 9 for General Omar. That's good KD. What's that, like 3? Yeah, it's like 3, three plus. Um, buildings raised 6 to 1. Largest army, very close. Blue takes it uh, with 38, but um, red was close behind with 36. Food collected, 12,000 for red, 10,000 for blue. Um, that's significant that early in the game. Um, wood collected, 11,000 to 9,200 
213. Apologies, I'm not a mathematician, mathematician nor am I a linguist, apparently. Um, stone collected 2326 to 3150, and gold collected is probably significant there. Red takes that by 2600. Fuel age is taken by red by 24 seconds and whole 2 minutes 30 seconds in castle age. That's significant. Uh, there was no real early aggression there for blue, so I'm not sure what happened there. Magpet explored is 93 for blue and he carries that. Research count is double. Red is double of blues. Uh, red carrying it with 22 research count. Society one castle each, uh, four relics for General Omar. That could be yeah. Look at the, it's like a thousand, one thousand, five hundred ish, extra. And that largely that largely plays for the discrepancy. There's an extra thousand in there, uh, but that's the society. That society done. But General Omar taking one oh one. Villagers are pretty much similar. You see. Blue never really gets off the mark with the military. When he does make the military, unfortunately, he makes the wrong units and um, Uskal's counter and kill them. Not much he can do there. Would like to have seen Blue try and play on a little bit. He would have been caused some problems, definitely, by the Huskars, But I'd like to have seen uh, General Omar try and build up to that wave. See how, how it did. That would have been good. But GG to both players. G General Omar through to the next round. Congratulations. Uh, would like to see you both re uh, repeat this again, maybe compete again. Thank you very much and goodbye.